The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is showing off a new tool they say will help fight crime. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Calvin Sneed, but some people say the new tool could be an invasion of privacy. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now to explain the legal guidelines behind it. Hannah. Calvin and Latricia, deputies say they can operate a drone for 14 times less than it would cost to call in a chopper. Hamilton County is one of the first law enforcement agencies in our area to start using drones. Bring it down, get a better visual. Hamilton County detectives simulating how they'd use this new drone to find a missing child. Running away, blue shirt a small brown bunny. It was just one of the scenarios demonstrated today. We tried to go as far as we could to show people and to gain their respect that we'll use this equipment properly uh, as we serve the citizens of Hamilton County. Marty Dunn went through 40 hours of training to become a drone pilot for the department. Plus we had to have a, uh, a flight physical, just like a pilot. Dunn says each liftoff requires a co-pilot. If I let him know everything I'm seeing on my telemetry, then he's aware of what's going on. If he sees something that I don't, he will warn me. The department says the drones will be mission based, used only after authorization from the district attorney to investigate certain incidents. But some residents say they're still not fond of the idea a camera could be in the air above them. And they can say that it's for safety and they can say that it's for whatever positive thing they want. But the point is, is that the more cameras that are on people, the, the more you feel technology just taking over. Others say they don't have a problem with it. Not really. I think it's a good idea. The sheriff says the goal is for the drone to be supportive of the police work the department is already doing. Those who question its mission say they demand clarity. Please tell the people what they'll be used for. Just be transparent with them and don't get sad that people are asking why and don't get sad that people are afraid. The device can also be used in a hostage or SWAT situations. It can collect video evidence and take pictures of a natural disaster. Coming up at 6, we'll show you one of the other scenarios that was demonstrated today. Calvin. Thanks, Hannah. The department was cleared a few weeks ago by the FAA to start using the drone. Operators still have to obey FAA rules like flying below 400 feet and 5 miles away from